going on everybody it's mr pipes here welcome to matchbox 28 my girlfriend Brittany here and tonight we're having a little pipe sesh and i wanted to do it at her place because it gives a different feel to my videos um i wish it was a little bit more lighter out because it's actually a really nice view here during the daytime um, at night, it just basically, it's just black. It's black. It's <laughs> nothing really all that special, but during the day, I really like it out here. I like it out here at nighttime, too. I mean, it actually has a ceiling. Where if you would get a, if you were here right now, you'd know what I'm talking about, but maybe I'll do a daytime show and tell at my girlfriend's house. Hi, Paul. How you doing? Hi, Paul. Polly, want a cracker? Oh, you have your fun. Your daddy made a pipe. Yep, I showed him that already. Oh, well, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe if she would watch my videos. Oh, hi, I do. Huh. I just have one. Maybe it's a little bit. Mm. Well, that's tonight that's I'm that's smoking. That's Go ahead. <laughs> Multiple dose. I'm not sure if you can see it real well. It's a blend of um, vanilla, caramel, and honey. It smells like they gave you villain. She said it sounds like I'm taking it. I don't know, it was on my blanket. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to make a video tonight because I kind of wanted to talk about my first pipe experience. I remember when I first bought my first pipe, and I didn't know anything about pipes. Didn't, nothing, not at all, except for what I've seen on YouTube. And I took cigarolos, those cheap cigarolos, cut the paper wrapper off, and then stuffed that into my pipe. Which worked, but... To be honest, that was actually the last thing I tried because my dumb self actually tried cutting them into like, imagine a Slim Jim. Oh lord. And you cut a Slim Jim into bite-sized pieces and try sticking that into your pipe and smoking it. That's how stupid I was when I first started smoking pipes. Or trying to pack a pipe. Who does? I don't think I'm going to keep talking, then my pipe's going to go out, but wow. it's okay. Um, I remember being out in my front yard trying to pack my pipe, trying to get it lit, I should say. Had it packed. I'm going, what the flip is going on? What is wrong? What am I doing wrong? And finally, I was like, I'm just going to go back on YouTube. You can find everything you need to learn on YouTube, okay? Well, maybe not everything, but for basic things, you can find pretty decent stuff. Um, so, I'm going online, I'm, and I find a whole bunch of stuff, you know. I find a video, how to by Stokey Farts, I find some by George Bruno, and they all were very helpful, and I'm going, finally, I can get some, you know, I'm getting some answers here, you know. It's not like you buy a pipe and it comes with a, you know, piece of paper that says how to do things, this and that, you know, so. But yeah, that was my first time smoking pipe. It 
And a lot of people, they tell you when you first start smoking, your first pipe tobacco is most likely going to be an aromatic, which is true. Nothing wrong with aromatic. I don't care what anyone tells you. It's not good. Exactly. You really don't want to be smoking an English blend, really. I mean, well, no, it's just you don't want to do it when you're around like a big crowd of people, especially if you're outside and you're around certain. I mean, some people they might get offended by it. Some air, some air English blends do have a nice note to them, but. I like to smoke aromatics when I'm out in public. Nothing against English blends. I like them. I like all blends. But it's better, I think it's better to smoke an aromatic because that way you can get people to say, oh, that smells good. But another thing I wanted to mention. Steven and Paul, we gotta hang out. Anyway, Steven, Paul, next time we hang out. Bring a cigar or a pipe. I was gonna bring a cigar tonight, but I didn't think Brittany was gonna want to stay out here for too too much longer. It's cold. At least for me, it's cold. So, but yeah, I kind of wanted to share that, that little story. It's funny how some people, they go, oh, you've been, how long have you been smoking a pipe? And you go, oh, a while now, a year now, over a year now. And you almost kind of don't want to tell them your first mistakes of smoking a pipe because it's embarrassing. Ow! Welcome to the country life. Something's gonna, something is bound to jump into your lap sooner or later. But, kind of want to tell that story. It's a good story. It lets people know that people make mistakes. And it's all right to make mistakes, as long as you fix them. So everyone out there that's just starting to get into pipe smoking, be patient. You'll get the hang of it. Take your time. Don't be puffing like a sailor, you know. Don't be, you know, puff, 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 you know.
Well, I got a little less than five minutes left to record, so. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Okay. I'm gonna get some food. <laughs> Everyone, hope you have a good night.